What's up everyone? My name is Alex and welcome to my little corner of the internet. I've been absent. Uh, I have not been feeling well. I've not been feeling motivated to record, but I've been working on so many other things. I've been either working on just personal projects or I've been working on the new zine. Um, if you want to check that out, it's at yb3.zine on Instagram. Um, it's a digital zine all about being by gender and my experience with gender and gender presentation and pronouns and basically telling my story the way I did here just in visual, a visual format. So I wanted to talk about something I'm calling my impact circle. Basically where I fit into my community and how I'm impacting those around me in that community. Um, being more aware of how I place myself at the center of a community or at the center of my circle of influence, I guess, is what you would call that. Um, it'll make sense in a minute. I want to focus more on how I'm making a difference to those around me, no matter how small that is. Um, I, I, I've dabbled in calling myself a community leader. Um, I have not really lived up to the expectations that come with that as a title. I have been awful in the way that I interact with other people in my community. So for the longest time, um, over the past like year or so, I've been working to better cement my place within my community. I stopped calling myself community leader. I think that is incredibly full of myself um, to do so. So that's off the table. I, I don't have that <laughs> listed as like who I am on my social media. Um, that shouldn't have even been a thing. I don't need to be a self-appointed community leader, um, but a an intrinsic part of a community, sure. Like, <laughs> especially if I am working toward being a productive and helpful member of a community. And I've started to be more aware of creatively how I influence and inspire those around me, people who consume the content that I create. The videos um, is a big thing, but also, you know, social media that is tied to this channel. So the other kind blog where I post resources for different um, issues. I have the zine where I tell my personal story as someone who's bi-gender. I, I have Discord servers um, where like I, I kind of have to be aware of how I'm interacting with the community um, in these spaces and I want to be productive no matter productive and helpful no matter like what I'm creating and where I'm creating it I, I can't keep half-assing the things that I do on the internet as a creator and thinking that I deserve all the love and support and praise from my peers um, from members of my community from fellow polygender people um, I have to work a little bit harder at like making a difference um, and that's where the idea of an impact circle comes from. The people around me that interact with my content, how I'm influencing that circle around me and how they interact with the circle around them, um, where it kind of like grows outward from the center because I want to be the person that says a thing, does a thing, and then someone sees that as validation, support, like something that made them realize something about themselves. And then they go on to share that with other people. And I want that to only ever be positive, positive and helpful in some way. If people are asking for help within the community, for resources, for support, um, I want, I don't want to be the person to offer that, but I want to use my position as a member of the community with access to resources to share that with others. I want to be that person who, like, is helping others when they need it. Creating safe spaces, 
uh, making people feel like I am a safe person to be around or that the spaces that I'm creating are spaces that people feel like they can interact with and be themselves and share their stories. Um, I never want to push or make anyone feel like I, I am pushing them out of a specific space. Um, this is not something that I have been good at or honestly ever tried hard enough at in the past. I like I've been atrocious with the way that I've interacted with other people on the internet and it's just not conductive. It's not productive. It's it's not helpful in any way. Um, being a member of a community and then just acting like trash. So th like I just don't want that to be a thing anymore. I'm also realizing that in being a pro productive member of any kind of community, I also need to realize that I can't do everything and I can't, like, I can't be at every single protest or march. I can't be on top of every single issue happening in the world and I can't call myself community leader and then, like, I don't have anything to show for it. Um, it kind of goes back to the community leader thing. Like, I have no right to call myself that and then, like, I'm very ignorant on a lot of issues or I don't have access to the same kind of resources that a lot of big activists have access to. Um, but at the same time, I also want to... I would like to stop expecting praise for being helpful, for being supportive, uh, for doing, making some kind of change within a community. Um, I have had problems with having an ego in a lot of spaces, like, hey, look at what I'm doing. I'm this white voice of mine speaking over everyone, being the loudest voice in the room, um, like, look at all these things that I'm doing and making change, and that's also not not right. Um, if I'm making a change, I, I want to do it because I'm, I genuinely want to be a helpful person, a better person. I focused so hard on, you know, making all these social media accounts and using my, like, actual name on these accounts and being like I I wanted to be seen I wanted to be known rather than being helpful and being the change that I wanted to see within my communities um but that uh that was wrong um that was very much wrong I was going about things uh, the wrong way the best thing that I can do as a member of the community is just be a, a support system or a safety net for someone else um, and to help where I know I can help rather than uh, rather than making it all about me. Um, that's, that's something that needs to change. I just want to start making a, a better change. Um, I mean, everything I can do to help a community, big or small, is useful. Um, I want to be useful within the spaces that I either create or interact in. Um, and I, like, I don't want to be someone that people are afraid to have in their spaces, I guess. So I posted this on the other kind Tumblr where I, you know, I have resources, um, like helpful links to things. Um, I compile all these like master posts full of resources for different issues, um, for different identities. And I, I try to do all the research myself and I try to compile, um, resources from the source and try to make it as easy to navigate as possible. And I had recently posted this piece that, um, I had started writing. It probably needs a lot more detail, but it's basically how to make a difference, um, which is the name of, I guess a series I was trying to do on YouTube where, um, like I post about the other kind blog and where to find like specific resources and how to be the person who is resourceful or productive within their communities. And I came up with this 
uh, basically list of things to be aware of when you are trying to be an activist, trying to help others, trying to, I guess, tighten your impact circle, um, fortify it. Um, so I have two main points here. Um, one is be a problem solver, uh, focus on the needs of members within your community. Um, as activists, we often take on a lot more than we can handle. And the easier way to go about that is to start small and direct your attention to those around you. So in that impact circle, people who are closer to you within your community, people that you have um, a lot of the same experiences, share the, um, a lot of the same experiences with. Um, that's the best place to start. Think of your own needs as a member of the community. As a member of a marginalized community, consider what kind of issues are important to you. What do you need? What kind of change do you want to see for yourself? Like, what, as a marginalized person, are you oppressed by? Um, and then understand that people within your same circle, they have the same needs as you do. That's where you start, is start with what you know. Use whatever skills you have to be helpful. Like, are you good with people? Do you know how to share information around on the internet? Are you p particularly knowledgeable in a specific issue? Use what you know, use what you can do, and no matter how small that is or how insignificant you might think it is, use that to your advantage and refine it make it your cornerstone make it your your skill become proficient in the small things that you can do offer insight into what can be done about an issue don't uh point out a problem without giving a solution to that problem a lot of people will um just want to be heard rather than uh, educating others, and they will find a post on the internet distasteful, problematic, um, ignorant, and they will say, hey, this is garbage. This is not a thing you do. It's bad. But without offering a solution to the problem that post has, that person who had posted or shared that thing will never know what that problem was in the first place. So um, don't be someone who is reactionary, which uh, leads into the second main point here, be critical but not reactionary. Listen to the voices of marginalized people. No one wants to feel talked over within their own community. Um, consider how loud your own voice is. Don't speak over others. Um, there are people who have vastly different experiences as a marginalized person than you do. Um, and no one wants to be, no one wants to be talked over. No one wants to be shoved out of their own spaces because someone else decided that they knew better than you. Know how to recognize microaggressions. They're called microaggressions for a reason, and they're not always apparent that they're happening. Recognize that it's not the tone of someone's post, of someone's rant, of someone's viewpoint. It's the nuance of what they are saying. Um, and that ties back to, you know, not being reactionary to a post or a viewpoint opinion piece that is problematic. Like, understand why that thing is a problem. Boost other people's voices while not platforming bigots. Um, if you see someone being bigoted, don't give them undeserved attention. Don't retweet what they've said and, you know, give them more attention, give them more eyes to see their post. Um, cause a, a lot of people will post horrible things and then someone will share that and say, Hey, look at this guy. Like he's posting these awful things. And then that guy ends up getting more followers, more viewers, um, more interaction with that horrible post when what you could do is, you could screenshot the post. You could post it and block out names and point out exactly what the problem is with that post and how we can be better about that specific opinion, how we can uh, 
you know, boost the voices around you, um, the voices belonging to those who are affected most by posts like that, um, by harmful opinions like that. Consider your own privilege. Um, privilege is not a black and white thing. It's not, you are either privileged or not privileged. There's so many things that go into being privileged. I'm white. I'm a man. That makes me privileged. Um, I am also trans. I'm also neurodivergent. Um, those things do not make me privileged, but they don't really balance, like, it doesn't balance out or cancel each other out. It's more like there's so many layers to being privileged, and it depends on what kind of community you're in. Um, like, I'm in spaces where I can talk about being autistic, but uh, being white autistic, definitely different than being an autistic person of color. So um, I have to be aware of that, and I have to be aware of... Um, what I have that other people don't, and use that as a way to boost the voices around me, not as a way to be the loudest voice in the room. Um, and fortifying that little circle of influence, that impact circle around you, helps circles around those individuals um, strengthen as well. So it's sort of a a domino effect, I guess. Um, I wouldn't know what you'd call it. Um, sort of a, a pay it forward sort of thing. Um, you are, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I have that post about like how to make a difference. I have that on, um, the other kind blog. It's, um, it's worded a little bit differently. I kind of, um, I paraphrased it. I said it a little bit more candidly here, um, just to go over like the general idea of the thing. But, uh, yeah, that's, it's something I want to work on if I want to be a content creator within um, polygender spaces, transgender spaces, transmasculine spaces, um, like anywhere on the internet. Um, I need to be aware of what my voice does in those spaces. Um, I highly encourage others to also uh, be more aware of that. I can't really sign off with like a monthly update. I can't um, really promise what I'm going to be uploading within the next month or so because I just, I'm just kind of uploading at a pace that I feel comfortable with um, recording just kind of whenever I feel like it because I've, I've told my story. Um, I've told my story. I've gone into so much detail and um, it's time for me to kind of branch out from that and start working on other things. This YouTube channel is going to stay around. Um, it was experimental. It ended up being like very good for other people. And I, I want to work on it, refine it. I started taking videos down that just weren't doing well or were diverging too much from what the point of this uh, channel was. Um, I like stopped putting gaming videos up like the Animal Crossing stuff. I wouldn't mind that for like streaming, but um, for videos that are like not live that I'm just uploading to the channel, they're not helpful. They don't really do anything. I can stream a video game and just kind of hang out with viewers sometime, um, but I want all the other content to be something you can refer back to. People aren't going to really be re-watching the Animal Crossing videos, but a video like this, um, people are either going to be re-watching it um, to get a better understanding of the talking points, or it'll be shared around where other people um, can get an understanding of the topic and incorporate it into their own way of um, how they interact in their communities and how they want to make a change for the people around them. But, uh, yeah, if, if I want to do gaming videos and divert from the whole point of a channel, like I might as well just bring back my gaming channel instead of, uh, putting it here. Um, because I, I want this space to be a little bit more helpful to people. I want this this space to be a resource as well, um, even though every so often I do talk about myself and my own stories, but um, that has been helpful to people. Um, I talk about my experiences with gender and other people relate to that, and it resonates with people who are questioning, people who are doubting themselves, and I, I super like that, <laughs> um, and I want to keep that going for this channel.
that's all I've got. <laughs> um, look back on this video, think about it, think about how uh, you are carving out a space for yourself in your communities and what you're doing to help people within your communities. It doesn't have to be something huge. You don't have to be a big hero, big, rich, uh, hyper-intelligent activist. Like, uh, you don't have to be a superhero. Like, do what you can. Um, and the biggest thing you can do is just ask, what can I do? There you go. I am signing off for now. See you later.